Teachers have used chalkboards for generations, but that idea is getting a high-tech twist. It's called a smart board. 12 News' Mike Anderson shows us how this amazing technology is revolutionizing the way some kids learn. Plus two okay. equals. You got it. This is the smart board. It may be the coolest part of education since someone decided a break for a hot lunch was in order. There's nothing like it on the market right now. Excellent. Okay, Jerry. That is, in the world of assistive technology for cognitively and physically disabled children. Part of the no child left behind in the U.S. education marketplace, this is a great product for that because it doesn't leave anyone behind. The smart board technology has actually been around for years, employed in a variety of uses from aboard Air Force One to major sports teams like the Milwaukee Bucks. But it is fairly new in the field of special education, and so far, teachers and students are loving it. Why is this board better? Because I can do more. I can do more. All I have to do physically is put the disc in a computer. Some students could do it. And then the rest is taken over by the computer and students. Click on your name. Is this your name? They can sign in by themselves. And at the end of the, each um, chapter, there's a quiz, so it will be, this one will be under Linda. The system's touch-sensitive interface, coupled with Smart's notebook collaborative learning software, allows its users to write, drag, and drop files, browse the web, and save files using their fingers, pointers, or full hand. It's fantastic. How can you beat that? So if we want to be true to the letter of the law and give them under IDEA the best assistive technology there is. It's one of those instruments. Only one problem, money. These things aren't cheap. This one at Vincent High School is the only one in the Milwaukee public school system like it. It was $5,800. We purchased it because we had a grant from Helen Baden Foundation. That really helps. That was two years ago. And wouldn't you know it, this prototype is already outdated. It was replaced last week with a new satellite version, manufactured by the Milwaukee-based InfoCore company. All of these boards are mounted, as you see here, or on a wall, or on a stand that's not adjustable. So from a wheelchair perspective, they can't reach the board. So what we did is give the capability of having not only an angled board, but it can go either direction and it can fit any size wheelchair. This is ADA compliant, which means they have the full capacity to turn and reach. Um, and so when they can reach, these children can wheel the wheelchair right up here and touch any part of this board, either with a pointer that we supply or with their, their hands. The interactive learning station is what it's basically called. Bill Jones is the executive vice president of InfoCore. From Milwaukee, he has taken this new and improved version nationwide, and the demand is rising. But so is the cost, about $2,000 more than the original smart board. It's a suggested retail price of $7,995. $7, we'll do notebook first, then the PowerPoint. School districts we'll believe it's worth it. Google They're currently holding fundraisers to come up with the money. But interestingly, 40% of InfoCore's orders okay. on this technology is for home use. Families can either apply for funding uh, through Medicaid or through various foundations or various grants that are available to them. The therapist basically writes a prescription, if you want, saying that this product is, meets all the requirements for an assistive technology grant. We're getting there. We're working on it. But we have to have units like this to show people the difference. The kids say for them it is making all the difference, opening up a yeah. whole new world. She did it. Excellent. Good job. In Milwaukee, Mike Anderson, WISN 12 the News. Page, the New Berlin School District already has several smart boards in classrooms, and they're looking to add more. The PTO in the Elmbrook District has been actively raising money to get smart boards. They have them in more than 200 classrooms. Very cool.